Good morning, my name is Dean Jones. I'm with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. I'm here today to show you a really nice little trade-in we got. It's a Montana Legacy 3930FB. Um, the Montana in and of itself is probably the leading selling fifth wheel in the market. I think it has been for like 20 years. And this is their higher grade one called the Legacy. And what you'll notice, um, we'll back up a little bit. It's got full body paint, so it's not one of these graphic kind of sticker peeling kind of fifth wheel. This is their, this is their high line. Um, you got 30 feet of awnings as you see out there, really nice coverage, you can see all the shade you get here. Um, if you look up top, the previous owner did take the liberty of putting Max Air vent covers on it. You got two ACs, you got your uh, Weingart Air 360 on there, your, your Wi-Fi system. You do have a ladder on the back, the roof's in great shape, I won't bring you up there today. But just know this thing's been kind of babied and, and equipped nicely for the next owner. But we'll kind of go in and, and see what's going on with this unit. The stock number on this guy is 5U220951. Um, I'll get a picture of it on the way around, but just how to reference it. Um, again, it's a 2020 Keystone Montana Legacy uh, 3930FB. So if you want to look at specs on that, you can too. Um, starting off, it does have a 30, 35,000 BTUs of heaters in it. And this is a 12 gallon water heater, which is probably the biggest I've ever seen. So it's equipped with a lot of hot water. Um, it'll take care of your showers. This is a bath and a half model. I'll show you inside. But So plenty of water for both those bathrooms. Um, got this giant basement. We'll start here. You do have an interior vac system and here are some attachments. But you see it's just really nice big pass-through storage. You can almost put someone down here if you wanted to. It is climate controlled. You've got your, uh, your satellite and your cable TV outputs here if you wanted to put a TV right here. Um, and this is your in command. That's going to be your, your brain for the whole unit. You do have a, a nice little touch screen inside I'll show you. And that's kind of what fundamentally powers that. And if you notice, you'll see the climate control, not a whole lot of obstruction. It's just a real nice flow in here. But one thing I like to point out with Montana is look at how rigid that aluminum is. Just a big, you know, nice good structure on that guy. And it's welded. If you look at the welds on that side, it's welded all the way around. So. Uh, a real a real beefy structure on this guy. You got your uh, your wiring and your pecs all tucked away. The other thing you'll notice under there, I'll point out now, you've got a channel going down the middle of this guy, and that's kind of your heat vents. That kind of heats the basement, kind of heats, you know, kind of keeps it, um, kind of keeps it warm down here for, for like winterization. And if you look down here, you'll see it's got an enclosed insulated underbelly and that's part of that that four season package it has it's a really clean clean fifth wheel but you also point out you you have nice little magnet catches up there you see them right here and up there you just pop it up you're up and, you're, and then when you want to shut it you just they're called slam latches so you know you do have some of these twist turn things for you like your propane and stuff but it this these big doors it's really nice to just pop them up drop them. Um, you'll notice there's two speakers right there. Two 30 pound bottles of propane. Plenty of propane in this guy. Real easy at a good waist level to pull out and get them swapped out. Um, you do have a six point leveling system on this guy. A lot of them are coming with four points which are adequate but this one's going to give you just that much more leveling power. All hydraulic right there. You get a shot at this. This is kind of nice too. This has been equipped with a Furion um, side camera and a back camera. And we talk about the back camera a lot. This one ha happens to have one, so I'll actually show what that looks like installed. But that's a side camera, and it goes on a little monitor up on your tow vehicle. So you can always see what's going on on side, both sides of your fifth wheel and on the back. So that's kind of makes this whole footprint seem a little smaller when you have that kind of visibility. You'll notice with the Montana, you do have a full fiberglass front cap. That's not going to Peel. There's not a screw track here that's gonna, you know, delaminate or anything. It's just a one-piece thing, and it wears the road real well. I happen to know who traded this in. They didn't really travel with it. They just kind of stayed in it at a destination. So this doesn't have a whole lot of miles on it. Um, anyways, you do have a pretty standard pin box. It does have a pivoting head control, so it's a little easier to mount and dismount. But it doesn't have the the more ride or anything. But that can be swapped out if you want a more comfortable ride. Um, and we'll go under here. You do have a firebox for this guy. Let me just pop this up here. So this has been 
readied for a, a gener generator. It just doesn't have one. So they didn't need it because they were, like I said, they were parked and plugged in. Um, but it does have the box that you would need. And that's kind of a, that's a starter if you want to put a nice generator in there, not a problem. But, uh, and it's all pre-wired for it. So you see all this, it's just ready to go. You just need to pop one in, mount it, exhaust it, and you're ready to go. And it's not gonna, you know, cause any heat problems or warp anything under there because you do have that heat box. This guy here is the battery box. And if you notice, there's two batteries in here and you've got your fluid for your hydraulics in here. And here's your kind of manifold for your hydraulic lines for that six point. And then you also have two hydraulic slides in here that that powers. We'll show you that in a minute. One other thing to point out, you do have nice tinted um, frameless windows. So these aren't gonna have the soft material that's gonna shrink on you. So they got upgraded windows on this guy. Again, here's the other side camera. This is how you would, uh, you can actually power your hydraulic rooms because it is off the hydraulic. You've got nice instructions here and this is how you would level it or just pop the top up and down. So and that's a locking, locking door. Here's your other 30 pound bottle of propane. Now this door, since there is a slide right here, it's on shocks. So again, you don't have to worry about holding it up or anything like that. And if you get a shot at this, we've got the other side of the basement, but this is your wet bay. You got a nice, you know, uh, outdoor shower. You've got the, the water heater bypass here. Um, get the winterization freezing system, city water connection, tank flush. Or this is a tank flush and a black tank flush. You've got your gray and your black gate valves here and these are your low point drains so everything's really nice and in the same spot you're not crawling under there looking for the low point drains what have you you also have a nice little battery disconnect here um, and this is where you would put the cable or the, the, the satellite feeds into your coach and it would power your tvs so that's kind of where that's at real nice lit area and then you have this this is where you could pop your hose up through here and fill your tanks and what have you so you can keep this shut if you needed to but just nice little slam latch again. One of my favorite things about this fifth wheel that we see a lot on the big coaches um, is it's got a power reel. You can actually, I took the cover off so you could see it, but you can actually wind this thing up and you're not, you know, folding a cord and taking up space in here. It's a really nice feature and it's kind of part of that legacy package. So we look over here, this is a good place to store your, uh, your, your sewer hoses or something like that. Uh, nice little, it's not an outdoor shower, your outdoor shower was in your wet bay, but you also notice down here you got your gate valve here. So when you open those gate valves, this is where you would put that on there. And they've also added another storage right there. You can see this pipe under there. That, that'd be another place to put one. So you have a couple little spots for them. Um, coming around here, this is one of the hydraulic slides. You'll see that it's, uh, you've got your, you've got a really big giant refrigerator in here and it's a propane and uh, electric RV fridge in there. Um, this is how you would access the back of those. It's just, they're just panels to, to service your, your refrigerator. Um, coming around here, you got another fiberglass rear cap, which is going to be nice because a lot of fifth wheels you see will start laminating, delaminating around the windows. This is just one big piece of fiberglass. It's not going to, this will stand the test of time, this, this, this particular way of constructing a back and front cap. Now here's that Fury and camera. I always show you the domes when I show you the trailers. This one's actually got the camera in it, so I thought I'd point that out. And better yet, you even have this big giant window. It's, it's a front bed, front bath, FB, but it's also set up like a rear living. You know? And with rear living, you get these great windows for views when you're in, in the, you know, the living room there. Nice six point ladder, just a good looking coach. You also have, if you wanted to put like bikes or something in here, you could do, you could put like a nice little bike rack in here. It's not really powered, so I wouldn't put like a boat. It's a pretty long fifth wheel. Um, this fifth wheel is 41 foot, four inches, stem to stern. So probably not a good tandem situation. But again, you got this nice awning here popping out of the, the slide here. So you're not losing half your awning over the top. Nice lights up there. If you get a shot down here, you'll see this one's got a full-size spare underneath it. It's like it's never been dismounted. So again, I don't think this has a whole lot of miles on it. 
Um, you do have a nice aluminum tandem axle wheel set up there. And as we come around here, there's a couple things I wanted to point out. It's got a nice grab handle. It just pops in and out. But my favorite part, we all like these stairs that don't have to unfold and get all crusty and stuff under there. But this one actually, you can, anybody can lift those up. And they're not, and they're on, they're on a suspension. So when you open your door, it's not gonna just pop out and land on you if it's not latched. It's a really nice counterbalance stair system. It's kind of the last generation of these types of stairs. And we, people tend to like those a little better. So we'll go in and see the inside of the coach. I love the color of the woodwork and the, the nice modern, you know, cabinet colors and stuff. But my favorite part of this coach is the, the bathroom. So we'll start here. It's got a really nice closet. It's got these nice mirrors, kind of make it look a lot bigger than it is. But when you get in here, you see you've got plenty of storage. It's lit. Cubbies everywhere. There's cubbies on both sides, kind of his and her situation here, as you can see. I'll just get out of the way here. You've got this nice little hamper slash bench. And some towel racks here, a nice little hook. Um, you can open the windows. You do have screens, so you can get some airflow in here. Um, you do have his and her undermounted sinks. Nice little stainless guys. Keystone's done a really good job with this guy. Nice big medicine cabinet. Everything's stainless. Um, nice, just just well done, well done. Um, all the storage underneath here. The plumbing's done nice and clean. You can actually use that that area for storage. You have a couple plug-ins here for curling irons, hair dryers, what have you, um, and a nice little fiberglass insert shower with the nice seat. I'm 6'1", I fit in here just fine. You do have an adjustable shower head here. You can go up or down. Uh, nice, three, you know, this door doesn't swing out. It's kind of a telescoping door, so that's nice. You don't have to worry about any, anything out here. Uh, you do have a Max Fair and I show, uh, Max, Fair fan, uh, Max Air Fan. I showed you the little covers up there when I showed you outside, but these definitely exhaust all the steam and stuff real nice. Nice Dometic flush 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 foot flush toilet. And then you've got another linen closet right here. Actually, hanging closet. I thought it was a linen closet. So that's your kind of full-timer bathroom. There's another one down in the hall. We'll show you that in a minute. But coming in the bedroom, you do have a nice, this is an electric slide. It's on just little Swintec motors. Big full-size king bed. Really well done. Nice little wardrobe cabinet here. One thing to notice too is you do have this really nice barn door. I'll switch places with you. Really neat little design feature here. Got a nice little slider, you know, kind of a nice barn door there. Keep it shut there. If you look at the ceiling, you're gonna see these little vent, these are kind of a, a, a ducted kind of AC unit. But when you see these little black guys up here, that represents a whisper quiet intake. So this is gonna be the quietest AC unit you can get in a fifth wheel. So something to point out. You do have speakers up here as well. Um, we're looking at some of the storage here. You got some more storage here. This does come equipped with a nice television for the bedroom. I think that's a 28 or 30 inch. And this has some storage under here. And you see you got the, the chairs that match the stuff up front. It's, it's got two chairs out now. But you can use that as storage or to keep your chairs there. And you do have nice little places to charge your phones. Nice little kind of, I wouldn't call them nightstands, but they're definitely somewhere you can put your phone or, or you know, your reading glasses or what have you. Got a nice little six-door dresser here. They're on roller bearings. So they're well done drawers here. just work real nice this guy's even got a door stop on it so 
This little door stop will actually keep this door open. Just little things that Montana does because they've been doing it for so long and they've been winning at it. So we'll kind of come down the stairs. I'll show you the control panel. A lot going on in this little hallway here. So uh, first thing you'll notice, it does have that, this is the central back. This is the dust band. You just kick that on and sweep everything in and it goes to your, your, uh, your vacuum. This is your, these are your fuses. Okay, I'll get out of the way. These are the fuses in the 110. So uh, you get a breaker. You don't have to go crawling around the bed looking for the breaker panel. It's right here. It's just, you'll always remember where it's at. Um, these fuses, they go from time to time. And when they do, there's a little red light. Um, these are all healthy now, but you'll know exactly which one you have to replace. It's a really good system here. So 110 here, 12 volt here. Just push it and it's out of the way. You've got this little tiny kind of coat closet, some hanging hooks here, just kind of not trying to kill any space here, so they're just using it all. And this is where it kind of runs your whole your whole fifth wheel. So you do have a code, so there is security. Just happen another code. You run your, your generator. If you had a generator, you could start it there. You have your black tank levels here. Um, you've got slides, like this is how we power the slides. You can do the lights. I turn the lights on all these. You can turn them on, off. Uh, really nice comprehensive your HVAC. It's nice and cool in here. The ACs are really working real well right now. It's a hot day out. We're real comfortable in here. Water pump, tells you your batteries. It's just real comprehensive. We got, we got to go through it with you too whenever, uh, whenever we deliver it. So something to know. Now this is kind of neat too. Um, you can tell where your, your power is coming from. So we have this plugged into our 50 amp outside and it says sure. So if there was an error, like if your batteries were low and maybe you're using a cord that wasn't working right or something, you would know it because it, it wouldn't be sure. But if you do get a generator put in and it's running off the generator, it'll show that too. So here's some fan controls. These are your, your oh, these are, these are heated tanks too. That's a good thing, I forgot about that. So you have fresh gray and black heated tanks. So if you're doing that fall hunting trip or that early spring and you get caught in a cold snap, you can actually heat those tanks and keep them from freezing. So at any rate, this is the, the other nice little treat about this guy. It's a nice big half bath. Again, done real nice. Same Dometic foot flush toilet. They actually put some really nice storage boxes in here. I was kind of impressed. Again, not wasting any space in this guy. And when you have a big fifth wheel like this, storage is everything. You got a nice little undermount sink like the ones up in the bathroom with the side faucet. That's just a hard mounted mirror, but you do have more storage up here. Really cool what they've done with the crown there. And you got a GFCI outlet here. So it's kind of the second bath. So we're gonna start this way. This is a nice, um, this is the table. It's got a place to charge your phones. And the other two chairs under the table would, under the bed would sit right here, but this was just a couple that owned it, so they just kind of kept the two chairs out. Um, you, do, you do have a leaf here. You can pop that out. Just pop this whole table out. If you want to extend it. Then you also have storage here for board games, cards, what have you. Nice little light fixture up here and look at all the windows around here so what's, this is what's not a lot of RLs are set rear livings are set up this way and this is basically a rear living for except for the bathroom that's what they're kind of like pointing out with that FB but you'll see all the windows around here so you got all those windows on your campsite you've got a little window in your kitchen to kind of see what's going on on the outside but you still have this big back window and that's really what you're gonna see the you, you know the nature when you're in this guy so come around here you do have a nice um, it's a massage recliner seat here. All power. You can massage it, heat it. Just real comfortable there. If you notice on the floor, you see these little heater ducts? This is that run I was telling you about that kind of keeps the underbelly real nice and warm. It's, a, it's, it's like a metal chase and that radiates heat down there. So that with your tank heaters and that underbelly being insulated, this thing's going to keep you warm in the, in the colder temperatures. 
So you do have more storage up here. This is the actual, uh, the, this goes in your truck when you're pulling it. Just suction cups onto your, uh, to your windshield as you're driving. You always see what's going on, on the right, left, or, or the back of this coach. So it's real nice there. All your books, every, all the stuff that came with the coach originally is right there. Get these nice little frosted glass cabinets for a nice design there. More storage there. You do have day and night shades all the way around. I don't know what this is supposed to dim, but there it is. Yep, you can dim the lights in here. Then you've got to also have a sleeper here. You can actually pull this out, makes a sleeper out here so you can sleep a couple more guests. As you come over here, you got overhead storage, plenty of it. Those nice frosted glass doors. A lot of storage in this guy. Once again, I'm saying storage every 100 times today. So, nice TV, Westinghouse. We do have a nice little entertainment center here. And the, the fireplaces are neat. They're kind of a electronic pseudo fire, but it also has a ceramic heater. So on mornings, like this morning when it's a little chilly out, um, before the sun comes up. You can kick that on, not have to kick the furnace on, not have to spend propane. Just take the bite out of this room. It's a really nice feature. I like it better as a heater than a fireplace, but I'd love to have one, um, especially on a fifth wheel. So the kitchen does have a nice pantry. And it is lit, automatic lit. We always know you can't get too much pantry when you're out camping. So this is a nice size one. Again, frosted glass. Nice little galley here. Uh, one of my favorite stoves, it's a Furion. Furion is made for RVs. It's made to withstand uh, vibration, heat, cold. Uh, the more Furion, the better. This is one of the nicer stoves you'll find in, a, in an RV. It's actually got some depth here where you can actually bake casseroles and stuff other than cinnamon rolls and pizzas. So we do like to see this guy in here. Nice storage down here for pans and these nice roller drawers. You do have a regular microwave. Oh, it is convection. I thought this was, yeah, this is a convection microwave. My bad. I thought it wasn't one because we had the oven, but this, they've opted for the convection. This is even nicer. So, yep, nice convection microwave. Little wine rack, that's a nice design feature. If you like wine, more storage. Now, getting to look at this island, it's pretty nice. It's all solid surface countertops all the way throughout the whole deal. You do have undermounted double sink. Nice little spray feature so you can, you know, wash your stuff out. Uh, there's all your remotes for the coach. There's a nice little trash bin. Then, of course, this guy here goes right here. So that makes it a nice little counter stop if you're going to serve off the, the island or whatever. You do have a nice little place for them right there. I don't know if you can see that, but they've actually put this in there so you can tuck those in. Yep, a little bit more space there. More storage there. Now this is the, this is that big giant refrigerator that Norco I was telling you about. Those two panels on the outside where you can service these guys, but just nice big giant, and this runs on propane. So if you're old school and you kind of like that propane feature and be able to boondock without you know, worrying about a residential fridge losing power, this would be your guy right here. And it's just the biggest one I've ever seen. And this is even nicer too, because in the past, this was a wall going through here. This actually isn't, so that's kind of nice. That's a new thing I haven't seen before. That's a nice refrigerator, really nice refrigerator. Stainless, good shape. And of course, you have more storage here. Real deep storage. Now, this is interesting because this is actually where you would put a washer and dryer. Um, if you get a look down here, you'll see the, the plumbing rough in. Uh, the previous owner didn't want a washer and dryer or the generator, um, so, but it is roughed in, so that's the hard part. So we just have to put a stackable in there, or you could just take this out and put a combo unit here. If you wanted to have a washer and dryer, you wouldn't have to take the whole space if you didn't want to. Another thing to point out, it's got this really nice indescent lighting as you see up in the, under the crown. 
And you can see some of that accent lighting all the way around. It's really nice. If you wanted to turn off the lighting and just kind of keep it mellow in here, maybe keep those on when you're walking around at night so you don't stub your toe. Just a nice mellow lighting in there. And you kind of got a buffet over here, and it's kind of nice because the more counter, anyone will tell you that's, that stayed in one of these, the more counter space, the better. So um, you do have this nice little extra piece of, of countertop there. Nice little cabinet there. And of course, you know, get the touch up paint for the outside if you needed it. And some more storage down there. Quite deep. So just a really clean luxury fifth wheel. Um, again, it's 2020. Uh, they took really good care of it. It's, it's uh, again, it's a 2020 Keystone Montana. It's a legacy 3930FB. The length is 41 foot, four inches. The width, it's an eight foot wide fifth wheel, kind of one of the wider ones. I think you can get a nine foot, but this is still pretty wide and it feels wide in here. Um, the height on the outside is 13 foot, five inches. Um, you got 66 gallons of fresh water, 88 gallons of gray water, and 88 gallons of black water. That's a lot of tanks and they are heated. Um, your dry weight on this coach is 13,564 pounds, so just under 13.6. Um, uh, your payload is 2,936 pounds, just under 3,000, with a GVWR of 16,500. Um, you could do it with three quarter ton. A one ton would be better. Um, and it was pulled before with a, with a one ton dually. Um, the hitch weight on this guy is 2,550 pounds, which is, seems like a lot, but it's on a fifth wheel hitch, so that's not much. Um, you've got two awnings at 30 feet. You've got 60 pounds of propane, six point leveling, 12 gallon water heater, which is nice. You have two 15,000 BTU whisper quiet air conditioners, and you have 35,000 BTU heater. So that's kind of the specs on this guy. You've seen the inside and out. It's a really nice coach. If you wanna come talk to me about it or call me, uh, my name is Dean Jones. Uh, you can get me direct on my cell, or direct at my desk at 303-684-3424. Call my cell at 720-347-7063, or you can just email me any questions at dean.jones at transwest.com. It's been a pleasure showing you this coach today, and we'll see you next time.